on this exam, there is specifically a couple questions on billing, and I want to cover what you should expect to be tested on when it comes to billing. The first thing is, is that you want to be aware that there is essentially ways that you could control access to your billing account. The second thing is, is that there's ways to export your bill. Now, if we go over to the home page and we just go back, I just want to show you couple things to point out. The first thing is, is on this test, they're going to test you on essentially the flow to get to billing. Now, you want to know that you want to go to billing. That's easy enough to remember. But when you go to billing, you'll want to be aware of a few things. Now, I'm, I'm doing this on purpose. There's actually, um, I have a couple different billing accounts set up, and that's okay, perfectly reasonable to do, and most enterprises would probably do that anyways. But I want to go to the linked billing account. Uh, and again, I'm in this project here. And what you could do is, of course, set up a project and have it linked to a different account. And let's say the project is for development and development has their own PO uh, process, procurement process, and they might use a specific credit card. Whereas production is going to use a different credit card. Anyways, just from that perspective, you want to appreciate that you could set up different billing accounts for different projects. Do expect a question on that. Now, I want to go to linked accounts. When, when it comes to looking at billing, there is a few things to point out here. The first is on the left, we have, of course, different submenus. Now, I'm in the overview page. On the exam, two sections you really want to get to know. There's uh, essentially actually three, um, but there's actually like two questions that came directly from, for example, billing export. Now, be aware that there's essentially two approaches for you to export your billing data. The first is you could do what's called a BigQuery export. Now, BigQuery is essentially a way you could export into a data warehouse and then, you know, of course, query against it. It's a managed service. It's very powerful. Um, but to do that, you have to go over here to edit settings. Then what you have to do is, you know, of course, you want to pay attention to the project you're in, but also you have to go here to BigQuery. And then you have to create a data set to be able to do that. And I encourage you to go through the exercise that's here um, around billing. And the link is, uh, I believe, in the uh, description as well. But uh, if you don't see it, it is um, cloud.google.com billing docs how to uh, big query example now this is an example of how you would go through that process and again you go over here and um, set up a query and, and again this is your standard sql uh, approach a little bit more complex and and you really only want to do this if again if you want to analyze your um, billing behavior and what are the costs are. And, you know, again, many different ways. So you create rows like for production, development, uh, you know, other resources again. Uh, and it uses a key value pair approach. And then you could also use what's cool is if you're using Data Studio, you could actually create your own dashboard and essentially look at your monthly spend in that approach. Now let's go back to billing over here. So if we go back to billing, we could also do what's called a file export. And again, what we could do, billing exports to sale, but I go over here and what I could do is create a bucket name and then export that. Now this is what you want to know for the test. 
So for file export, there's two formats, CSV and JSON. Now be aware to do this, you got to go in and um, create a bucket. All right, so you put in test bucket and then you create a prefix. Now a prefix is going to help you identify what it is. And again, I could go billing one, two, three, and then go save. Now it says I don't have permission to update this bucket. And that failed because why? I didn't even create that bucket. So basically what you want to do is again, go over here. Let's go ahead and get that resolved. And what you want to do is really go back here to storage buckets. And if you don't know how to do this, just go over to storage here. Uh, but if you don't know how to do it, it's very simple. I'll walk you through it. So uh, you can see I have buckets here already created. Now, um, you know, again, to create a bucket, very simple. I'm going to call this GPC test bucket. And you can see it's red. It's going to turn red if that name, because this is a global namespace that you're using. So it's got to be unique. So I'm going to call this GCP test bucket billing. And that actually is unique. I'm going to go ahead and put this on regional storage. And I could go over here too. You could see I could also encrypt it as well. I could add labels, but I'm going to go create. And so this is called GCP test bucket billing. Now, what we want to do is again, I've got the bucket and I could add files uh, if I want as well. And I go back to the bucket and you can see that uh, it is created right there, GCP test bucket. Now to edit permissions, I could edit the bucket permissions and I could go ahead and literally, you know, specify who can access this as well. So basically, again, I could really customize this down if I want as well. But let's go back to billing. I'm going to make this a little quick. I just want to go over here to, um, again, go back to the linked account. Let's go over to billing export, file export, edit settings, and then the bucket name. I'm going to call it the test bucket. And then I'm going to call it billing one, two, three. I want to save it as a CSV. And you can see now it actually worked because that bucket was created, right? Now I could also um, get really granular and, and really customize that bucket, you know, have it moved into a folder, so on and so on. But for the, for demo purposes, this is just what I'm doing just to show you how simple it is. So for the exam, there's actually one more thing I want to show you. Um, if you go over here to reports. Now you could also look at reports. Now there is some preset capabilities that have been built in, and this is a fairly new feature uh, to a degree. It you know wasn't really this pretty uh, a little while ago, like a few months ago. So they've definitely updated it a little bit, and I think it's easier to use. So you go over here, right, and you can see my test project. Um, this is what I'm spending per month in that project. Now. Again, this is my account because I do a lot of course development and there is a cost to, to using it. And it's pretty uh, intensive to have to get free accounts and play that game, create new emails. And, uh, you know, again, it's a minor cost, so it's part of the deal. Now, when it comes to uh, billing, uh, one more thing to go through. If you go over here to budget and alerts remember to you create alerts. So if for some reason your billing uh, gets out of control or you're afraid it will get out of control, and let me be honest, this happens more often than not, where organizations don't keep track of their billing and who's doing what, and then three or four months down the road, you're wondering why development is actually costing you more than production. And the reason is, is because you, you're you not keeping track of who's doing what, how many snapshots. Uh, the two biggest costs in the cloud will be the virtual VMs, uh, the virtual machines, that is, and then the storage, generally. That's generally your two largest costs. 
So you want to create alerts. And again, you could determine a budget. I want to do 100 a month. And then when it gets to 50%, 90% or 100, I could go ahead in and save that. And uh, it will let me know if I get past that point. Now, you could also use PubSub. And I could go ahead and create a PubSub uh, topic for that project. And again, you go ahead and save it and do that as well. So let's just go back to the overview. So the top three things you want to know for billing, expect multiple questions on billing. The first is you want to be aware that there is two ways to export your bill. You have BigQuery and File Export. And then with File Export, there is what? There is two different ways you could save that file, right? The format, CSV and JSON. Now, to get to Billing Export, you go to Billing, Billing Export, right? And go over to File Export or BigQuery Export. Again, simple enough. One of the questions on the exam will expect you to know the workflow or essentially the, you know, what I called the window steps to, to get to uh, the specific service uh, variable you got to configure. The other thing is go over to budget alerts and you create budgets and alerts to essentially notify you when you exceed a threshold. All right, that wraps up billing. Let's continue on. Uh, one quick note, though, I do encourage you to uh, actually go over to um, the billing page and look on the side here. Analyze your bills. If, if you're not familiar with uh, BigQuery, uh, you know, play around with it and do a quick export if you want. But other than that, this is what you really know for the test.